Welcome to this video. How about your first try in the last episode? After knowing how to assemble the frame, in this episode, we will learn how to sew the banana flag, femur head, power line, the electronic speed controller, and how to assemble the section board. And these are the components and the parts we are going to use. Now let's get started. This is Emacs Simon Trophy Brushless Electronic Speed Controller with BZ output. It converts direct current into the three phase alternating current to supply power for the motor. Made of original components and plus it can bear high current. It can also protect from low voltage, over voltage overheat and support all kinds of Y controller. It's the middle part of the tutor to nip the banana plug female bullet. Sold the soldering tin into the banana plug female bullet. Pay attention not to touch the banana plug female bullet until it cools down. Then solder one of the three phase power lines of the electronic speed controller into the banana plug female bullet. So the other power lines in the same way. After soldering, measure the length of the banana plug female bullet with a heat tubing. Cut the heat tubing into pieces, each one with the length of banana plug female bullet. Cover the banana plug female bullet with the heat tubing. Get the electronic celery end close to the heat tubing. Rotate the heat tubing for several times until it is shrunken. Do with other heat tubings in the same way. This is a section board. You can see there are some annals and castles on both sides of the board. Apply enough soldering tin on the pads.
so to the black power line of an electronic V controller into the pad corresponding to the cathode. And the red one to the pad corresponding to the anode. Pay attention to solder them sufficiently. So the other power lines in the same way. Similarly, apply enum soldering tin on the pads. So to the black adapter cable to the pads corresponding to the cathode. the red one to the end node. Insert the rubber pipes into the holes of the section board. And tie two rubber pipes one by one. Now we have finished the soldering in this episode. See you in the next episode.